Okay, so um, who starts a video saying, okay, <laughs> probably someone who's never done this before. But so the whole purpose of this is to help you maintain your brows at home. This is the NADS Facial Wax Strips. Riley, if you're watching this, I'm sorry because I'm just sorry. You are the queen. And right now I need I need to fix these brows. Um, I did this one on my fancy camera, but my fancy camera died and I don't know what to do now. So strips like this. There are two in this. Um, they're really, they're not that bad. I've used the Sally Hansen before, but my skin gets really, really red um, and really like not hivey, but it just gets kind of gross. So these I have had zero trouble with. These are my Cricut scissors. Um, I do not have regular brow scissors. That's how often I do this. Um, I should have regular brow scissors, but I don't. And I like these because they're super pointy. Um, regular scissors just aren't gonna cut it. So with that, I'm gonna take the spoolie edge of this brow definer it's pretty basic um you want to brush your brows the way that they grow and what i mean by that is this section of my own eyebrow grows up this section right here from here to here grows down isn't that nice so brush them up just past where your brows stop or your brow line is. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, I'm sorry. So just go in, trim, trim. I want a little bit more, so I'm gonna go back in there. See, that already made such a nice line. This we're gonna push back up in there because I am not freaking trimming that. Mm -hmm. Just baby hairs. Mm. Maybe we'll trim it like a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Oh my god, how funny would that be if I just absolutely wrecked my eyebrows just for the sake of trying to help people? Honestly, that's probably that's the story of my life, really. It's kind of tragic. That was sad. God, this is so annoying. <laughs> Not even looking. <laughs> Whatever. I am just going to use two. I'm going to cut them down the middle, and then I'm going to cut them in half. So we're going to cut them into quarters if you want to get really specific. Anyway, all right. So there's the paper part and then there is this wax part. The wax part, we want the closest to your brow. See, wax part closest to the brow, paper part away from the brow. So I'm gonna start up in this area. Um, I just kind of use my finger to kind of brush down the hair so it's kind of in a safe zone. If you have any hair that's pointing that way and you put this on, guess what? It's gone. So we don't want that to happen. So you're just gonna gently put it right on the outside. And this is for maintenance and cleanup. This is not for um, total brow reshaping. If you're in the business of that, go see somebody. Do not do this by yourself because it's going to be a disaster. And then stare at it because you're weird. You've all done it. Okay. Yep. 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 If you get some wax left over, just take another chunk of whatever. Use the back of it. Rip it off. Oh my god, why am I so itchy right there? <laughs> Okay, hey, see, that's not bad. Nice and smooth. You cannot see a darn thing on this. It's more of the idea, so you're welcome. Wax, paper, put it on. 
Now we brush that side down. We're gonna brush this side up because we're going underneath. Um, like all of it, just get it out of the way. It's not going anywhere. I just like to make sure it's right where it needs to be and it's not going to move after you let go because if you let go and it moves and it's up in another piece of your eyebrow and you did not want it there, you're gonna have some problems. So when you let go, make sure to watch it and see where it's going. Hold your skin tight right behind. Where is it? There we go. Right behind, you wanna hold it really, really tight. This I always just say it's different. <laughs> we are just gonna put this piece over this guy and then we're gonna go in and just get like a nice little line underneath. gonna start watering nope we're good okay any leftovers take one of these make sure there isn't any leftover wax up in here oh where is it coming from that's annoying okay go in with let's do this guy since he's been neglected because it was the wrong one do not over accentuate the shape of your brow. Your brows grow onto your face the way they are supposed to. In the shape they are supposed to. In the color they're supposed to. It's just, don't try and recorrect that. Because once you start doing that, you're gonna have a whole mess to clean up. Yeah. This one just gets all the the fuzz so you have a nice crisp line i think i did pretty good can you even tell probably not it's more so the principle of just doing this yourself instead of the end results i'm gonna use um benefit give me brow just a little baby one my mama got it for me i might actually have to get some yes look at that clump right there Like what? You did not see that before, and you see it now. This comes off like a dream. Um, I would rather tint my brows right now because they're done, but the way that I tint my brows and the stuff that I have to tint my brows is not, um, this is paper towel, by the way, accessible to everybody, so I don't wanna, I'm not gonna show People how I do something if like you can't just put it in your cart or you know what I mean so I feel like that does not help at all yes we'll get that later but this is the part where you go back to the beginning and you look at what these looked like before you can do this too you just need just have a little faith in yourself you know Okay, I'm going to end it here. Um, I hope this helped you. If it didn't, um, sorry. But I always feel like I can help someone. And if I can at least help one person save some money and feel a little bit confident in their skills and know that they can do this stuff themselves in between their appointments, then that's all I want. So um, hope this video finds you well. And your kids are being nice to you. And... You have a yummy dinner planned and yeah, and you have gas in your car because that's always good. Okay, bye.